I'm Anil Kumar. Here is another question from my students' test paper. Thank you, Rani, for sharing these questions and asking for their solution. The question here is, use area model to find product 7 over 6 times 8 over 5 and write complete equation. Now, Rani, as you see, these fractions are improper fractions. 7 over 6 is more than 1. 7 over 6 is 1, 1 over 6, right? Is this one whole and then 1 over 6? And we have to multiply that by 8 over 5, which is one whole. So when you divide by 5, divide 8 by 5, get 1, remainder is 3. So 3 over 5. So these are improper fractions which you need to multiply. So one box will represent a whole. The second box will represent 1 over 6. So that will be for the first fraction. So let us make two boxes to represent 7 over 6. So here they are. So what I do normally, as you know, I kind of keep it open and I'll divide it into six rows, right? So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and okay, 1, 6. So six rows. So one whole and one more. So another one, similar kind. So the idea is just keep it open and try to make equal rows. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That is what it is. And let us select seven out of six, right? So seven out of six means all these six. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six and one seven. So that is what we are calling as seven over six. So this is seven over six, correct? From here to this place, correct? So that is seven over six. Now we need to multiply this by eight over five. So, so we'll divide that into columns. So let's copy these. Okay, let's copy these. So again, we'll make another set of this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. First box. The second one here will be, okay, one, two, three, four, five, and one, six. Great. Okay. So when we copy this, we have to copy the highlighted portion also, six out of these. Great. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That is the whole. And one, six. Correct. Since we want to multiply by 8 over 5, what should we do? We have to divide it into 5 columns, correct? So, so let's say 1, 2, 3. Okay, so that is, we have to make slightly smaller. So let me make 5 columns. So this is my first column. Okay, 1, 2, three and four and five imagine they are all equal rectangles here okay so we have one two three four and five right so we get five columns now how much do we shade how many columns we need to shade eight out of five correct so here we have five so that means all these get shaded is it okay all these get shaded okay this is um, five now this one is sixth right sixth seventh and eighth right so once you see shade eight out of five you get a common area identify the common area so the common area is this whole is common is it okay Remember, this is 8 over 5, right? So from here to here, correct? It is 8 over 5. So the common area is that much. And then this is common area for us. And then here we have this area as common area. And then these three, right? 5 plus 3 was 8. Now we can count the number of rectangles. So here we have 
6 times 5, if you count them, it will be 30. Now, these are 5, correct? 5. These are, here we are left with, here we have 6 and here we have 3. 6 times 3 is 18, right? So, here we have 1 and 3, that is 3. So, these are the total number of rectangles and in each, in the big triangle, we have 30, right? So, each is 1 30th. Do you see that? Each is 1 over 30, right? So, how many we have 1 over 30th? We have 30 plus 5 plus 18 plus 3, all divided by 6 times 5, 30, since each rectangle has 30 equal parts, right? So, that is what we get. Now, you can add them up. 30 plus 5 is 35 and then 3 is 38, 38 plus 18 is 56. So you get 56 over 30 as your answer. Right? So that is what you get. Now you can check even otherwise when you multiply 7 and 8 is 56 divided by 6 times 5 is 30. So that is our answer. You could write this as the improper fraction. You could actually divide 56 by 30, right? So that is to say it is goes 1 times and what you get is 26, right? So it is 4 less than 2 holes, right? So it is equal to 1 hole and 26 over 30, right? At times you may even simplify this and you may write your answer as 1 over 13 over 15 okay but anyway all of them are correct answers so the idea here is to show multiplication using area model right so i hope you understand area model now so here is the area area of this big cell here is number of rows times columns which is 30 right then this one is 1 times 5 which is 5 6 times 3 18 1 times 3 3 and out of out of 30 right so each unit is 1 30th and that is why we have this 30 in the denominator so i hope with this you understand that whenever you are multiplying improper fractions you have to take more than one rectangle you can divide it in number of rows from one denominator number of columns using the other to get the result now i hope you have understood this what you need to do is do the same question again, but this time when you select 7 over 6, make 6 columns and 8 over 5, 5 rows and then check if you get the same answer or not. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.